Hi my plums, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. My name is Plumby and welcome to part one of the Sims 4 Not So Buried Challenge Rose Generation. I am so, so, so excited to finally be doing the Rose Generation since I spent such a long time on the Mint Generation. So I'm just really, really happy to be doing the Rose Generation. So if you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Lorena. I do mainly Sims 4 content like Let's Plays and Creator Sims. So if any of that interests you, please go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you join the Plum family. I now also have channel memberships. So if you'd like to become a Sugar Plum, Sparkly Plum, or a Golden Plum, just go ahead and click the join button. I also now have a Discord server. So if you'd like to, you know, hang out and chat with other members of the Plum family and me, <laughs> just go ahead and click the link in the description. Today's plum of the day shout out goes to Chelsea Duck. I am so 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 happy that you are enjoying the let's play and I'm also really really happy that you have started your own challenge. That is just really really cool. So if you'd like to be included in the next plum of the day shout out all you have to do is subscribe and click the notification bell and comment something with purple heart emojis at the end. But without further ado let's get on with today's video. So of course, since it is now the Rose Generation, you guys are taking a look at Axel Berry. He is gonna be, oh God, my guy. <laughs> He's actually just asking his dad, Zach, a question. If you are new to the Not So Berry, my Not So Berry Let's Play, and you're kind of just deciding to not watch the Mint Generation and just watch this one, I'll quickly give you a, I guess a little bit of an introduction. So uh, here we have Meredith. So Meredith, <laughs> as you guys can tell from this crazy attire is i guess the mint generation she is the founder of the, the i guess the whole challenge really and she kind of was gen one the mint generation and then we also have zachary over here which is meredith's husband he is also a scientist he's pretty funny he's pretty funny he is he's quite a sweet little sim we don't pay too much attention to him unfortunately but yeah he's a quite quite a cute little sim and then upstairs we currently have thorn sleeping thorn is the oldest out of the two brothers and yeah this is just him he isn't really that much of an important character <laughs> i don't mean to be rude to him he just really isn't but yeah that that is everyone so as i said we are going to be focusing on axel throughout this whole i guess he's going to be the one to take on the second generation so i thought to start off the rose generation we need to get him to complete what so one of the things you have to do is complete the serial romantic aspiration and i thought that we'd start it off with him as a teenager so i thought that was like the best thing to do i don't think it's cheating to start completing stuff when they're a teenager hopefully it isn't <laughs> if it is please do tell me but we are going to start so he has to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend and he also has to go on to dates so it is currently 8 p.m or it's about to be 9 p.m so i think it would be extremely extremely fun if you know maybe he would sneak out uh that sounds pretty interesting i don't know that sounds like a pretty fun idea in my opinion so i think i'm probably gonna get him to sneak out behind <gasps> meredith no oh god where is the where's the essence of life potion <laughs> <laughs> i got the essence of life potion because in the yellow generation the kid has the yellow generation kid has to be really close with the grandparents so it's, it's actually one of the things you have to do that someone informed me so thank you <laughs> for informing me that so we're gonna get meredith just to you know age down a little bit there we go she's gonna be lasting a little bit longer plus i don't think i'm ready to lose meredith yet you guys i don't think i'm, <laughs> not, I'm not mentally prepared uh but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get axel to just take a shower and then he's gonna go ahead and sneak out and I'm just gonna cheat his needs a little bit. Don't shout at me, okay? I don't want him to just be tired when he's sneaking out. And we're just gonna get Meredith to head to bed so that, you know, he can go ahead and sneak out. I don't think I've ever made any of my Sims sneak out. And I have parenthood, so I, I don't know why I didn't do that. But Zach, go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> go back to bed yeah he's definitely gonna sneak out he's maybe gonna head to a party or something and he's never snuck out before so his parents really aren't that you know suspicious so we're gonna make him go ahead and do that but he isn't allowed out okay <laughs> this is very fun <laughs> i thought i wanted to start off part one with just a lot of fun so i thought you know why not do this <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and get him to go to the bluffs because, I don't know, it just seems like the perfect place to go. And he is actually going to bring some of his friends, I think. I did get him to meet some people when he was at school. Let's bring Alana, Carolyn, maybe Carolyn's like the popular girl. I'm also going to bring Dominic as well. And uh, yeah, we're just going to bring those three sims. Maybe those are like his friends at the moment. 
Alrighty, so we have arrived at the Bluffs, and it seems as if some of his friends have shown up, and I wonder if anyone else is going to show up. I don't think there's a party going on here tonight, so I don't think we're going to get that many people showing up here. I was kind of hoping there would be, like, a party, but it doesn't seem there is one. What is this outfit? I mean... <laughs> Oh goodness, what 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 is that outfit? Yeah, I'd be crying too, Axel. Yeah, I'm crying too about that outfit. It's, it's just it's so sad. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and get him to just maybe complain about his problems. He seems to be uh, oh my goodness, he seems to be having like a huge mood swing right now. So he's just really you know tense and stuff. But I'm gonna why girl are you stuck? I think Carolyn maybe stuck. <laughs> there we go. I think I helped her out. I think I helped her out. Yeah, I'm just going to maybe talk to her. Maybe he's trying to make some moves on Carolyn. I mean, she doesn't seem to be having him complaining about his problems, though. But I'm probably just going to get him to, you know, talk to her. I definitely am. Just, like, since with the Sero romantic aspiration, you do need to, like... There's, there's, I think there's an option where you have to kiss, like, ten sims. But maybe he, you know, wants to make some moves on Carolyn. Because she's... Let's just imagine that Carolyn is the popular girl in school. So, you know, he, he, he wants to become popular. He wants to become popular. So, you know, why not better than to date the popular the girl right she doesn't seem to be getting any of his jokes though so far he is not <laughs> impressing carolyn at all i maybe because he's super stressed right now he's really tense so she's just like dude can you come yeah she's walking away wow the player axel has already failed <laughs> he isn't doing too well so far oh poor guy i kind of feel bad for him but oh well uh but i'm gonna go ahead and maybe just get him to maybe do some swimming maybe he can try and like maybe flirt with some of the other girls maybe carolyn's just you know too good for him actually <laughs> one of the girls here alana pleasant is just having a little bit of a sleep there <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and get him maybe to talk to alana but he's gonna go ahead and try and wake her up maybe she's another one of the popular girls i would definitely think he's he's was, isn't that popular yet but he's definitely you know has connections with the popular kids <laughs> i'm just gonna go ahead and get him to you know ask about her career and all of that stuff there we go just kind of you know talk to her she seems to be oh hold on she's a young adult <laughs> <laughs> i didn't realize that and she's just started yelling at him for some reason oh my gosh i swear he was oh she was like a teenager or something but it seems as if she's actually a young adult oh my goodness okay uh maybe she's like you know you shouldn't be maybe that's why she was yelling at him she's like you shouldn't be out right now you're literally like what 15 i don't think your parents let you <laughs> oh my god girl maybe we can like tell her to leave because i li i'm so sorry i really thought alana would have been like a teenager or something so i'm like how was he friends with her but she's just gonna leave but yeah she seems pretty angry about that <laughs> everyone's just asleep who's sleeping in the bush someone's just <laughs> <laughs> who's just sleeping in the bush hello okay it's dominic hold on i think carol carol wants to chat with him is her name carol no carolyn but yeah i'm gonna get him to just go ahead hold on is she a young adult she's a young adult too what <laughs> no i swear they must have aged up right i'm just gonna cheat her age down a little bit i'm just gonna cheat her age down <laughs> yeah she only turned a young adult literally uh, like a day ago so that that makes sense but i'm gonna just turn her back down to a teenager since you know is that cheating it may be kind of cheating but as i said she was only a young adult like literally a day ago so i i don't really think it matters too much but uh yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and get him to talk to her for a little bit hopefully they can get along a bit better now it is really dark on the bluffs <laughs> But maybe, maybe he can actually do a flirt. Now, I'm not sure how it's going to go since... Oh, no. I'm going to actually cancel that flirt because I have a bad feeling it's not going to go down too well. Yeah, she's just really tired. This meetup altogether has just been a complete fail and a half. Like... <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness this isn't nothing's really working out for axel so far we're literally at part one and axel's already you know off to a bad start with the popular girl accidentally invited along some young adults with him <laughs> it just isn't his day is it but yeah i actually may get him to just go ahead and maybe try and flirt i don't think that is gonna go down too well since he is really tense she's really uncomfortable but i'll try all right let's hope this goes well oh she actually she's actually accepting it <gasps> girl's accepting the flirt okay and maybe <laughs> maybe offer a rose you know it is the rose generation so i think it would be pretty good to offer a rose right now i love how dominic's just in the background <laughs> <laughs> oh she actually accepted the rose oh my goodness okay this is actually going well i wasn't expecting oh girl's flirty now i feel bad for dominic he's like such a 
third wheeler is that the right word i'm sorry you guys don't be i can't find words to be completely honest but maybe we can actually exchange numbers but she's actually feeling kind of flirty now i'm like surprised because he's tense i wasn't expecting this to go over that well why is he just randomly crying <laughs> i swear axel is just an emotional wreck i mean you know what are we getting from axel so far part one he's an emotional wreck like honestly as i mentioned in the i guess a couple of parts ago he's probably the one to get his heart broken not be the heartbreak <laughs> i just don't see it okay yeah she actually accepted the exchange numbers thing which is really awesome reveal crush i mean why not you know he does really want a, he will honestly with the aspiration we do need him to get a girlfriend or a boyfriend oh <gasps> did she just say no <laughs> girl she just said no to him <laughs> oh my god all right i'm just gonna get him to go home now this is where you run this is where you just run oh my goodness but she's okay she was like enjoying the flirts and they did exchange numbers maybe she was just like literally like literally telling him you know axel i literally just met you the other day don't just reveal your crush to be already it's very weird <laughs> she's all embarrassed too well that was a very much of a fail i would say let's hope that meredith and <laughs> zach aren't awake because it, mm, i think it could definitely get much worse than this <laughs> Alrighty, so we have arrived back at the house and <laughs> it seems that Meredith is awake and she's feeling tense and oh god, okay, this isn't going to go over well. She doesn't look happy. She really <laughs> does not look happy, but Axel's going to come in and he's going to have to face the wrath that is Meredith. <laughs> look at how she's looking at- oh yeah, he- he does not want to deal with Meredith right now. Blizzard does not want to have to deal with- oh, she's going to bed. Maybe she's saying- Zach, you can deal with this. I can't. I'm just gonna. I'm really angry. <laughs> uh, Zach, I think he's gonna go ahead. <laughs> he's just crying. I swear, Axel is an emotional wreck. All right, I think he's gonna go ahead and parenting. Um, okay, so since we didn't have any like, I guess maybe he can like criticize the mood swing. I know, like I forgot to like put the curfew up, so he can't really like, yell at him for the curfew. But maybe we can get them to argue. Actually, I think I have them a mod that lets them argue about anything. <laughs> or like about a lot of things uh, yeah having an argument here we go <gasps> okay this is great i haven't actually used this mod yet oh we're gonna argue about the teen going out yes 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 and yes <laughs> he's telling him like how could you be so irresponsible you know anything could have happened to you you should have told us and i think he's like just give me a break <laughs> <laughs> oh my god goodness look <gasps> you go out too often zachary considers his team goes out way too often oh no <laughs> yeah these guys are about to get in a very large argument oh no axel just sweat oh look at him he's shouting at him i thought zach would take it a bit more easy on him but you know zach is really you know angry at him <laughs> right now which is it's just very funny and i think he's like okay axel well can we ground him i'm not sure if zachary has high enough parenting skill to ground axel like i don't think hold on <gasps> he can oh my goodness ground okay he's gonna ground axel i haven't played with parenthood for some time but he's like axel this is not accepted you're, you're grounded and we're gonna have to I, like i said i haven't played with parenthood for some time there we go <laughs> oh i'm having so much fun i swear okay so uh let's see i think he's gonna tell him you're not allowed to leave the house and oh my goodness it's friday today as well so that's like kind of the time you go out so he's like unless you're not even allowed to leave the house to go out in the day you're just not going out for a whole day you hear that axel so uh, yeah axel is very exhausted he <laughs> look at him oh no i do what i want oh my goodness <laughs> for some reason thorn's angry you good thorn also i need to give axel his own bedroom so i'm gonna just quickly uh do up this bedroom now Alrighty, so this is basically uh axel's room of course i decorated it as i've mentioned times before i am quite terrible with decorating <laughs> sims rooms i just i can't do any of that stuff so if it does look pretty bad i do apologize uh, it's pretty bland i didn't want to go with really too much uh but yeah this is his bedroom uh, where's the light gone put the light on anyway like i was saying this is the bedroom and i added a little punching bag since he is actually interested in working out but i'm going to probably be seeing you guys when thorn probably it's friday today so i'm probably going to be seeing you guys when he gets back from school
Alrighty, so Axel has just gotten back from school and why is the principal calling him? <laughs> oh no, the principal's apparently calling him. So I'm going to go ahead and get him to just answer. Can I speak? I'm going to go ahead and get him to answer the call. And oh, he's just come. Oh no, he doesn't seem to be doing very well at school. Uh, the principal's just calling him to tell him that he's, you know, doing quite bad at school. Oh dear. <laughs> but it is Friday and it is 2 p.m. And as we know, he is grounded. But he knows his parents aren't going to be coming home until around until 7 p.m so he knows that he has about four hours maybe longer actually yeah no yeah four hours to do whatever he wants so he is gonna go <laughs> he's gonna go out again but now he knows he has to get back before 7 p.m or else his parents of course will notice that he was gone i don't think thorn's gonna tell on him i honestly think thorn doesn't care less like i thorn he just goes through on with his life he doesn't care what his brother's doing he knows that axel's probably not gonna you know get himself into any you know anything dangerous so thorn's not gonna probably you know snitch on him or anything but I'm still going to get them to head out. So let's see. Where, <laughs> where is he going to go? So I think he actually, it's raining currently. So maybe they should go somewhere indoors. Maybe that gym's quite laggy for me, actually. So I kind of want to avoid that gym. Maybe, I don't think you go to a coffee store. Old Town Center? It's actually a teen neighborhood. So we will be seeing quite a couple of people his age. So I'm going to go ahead and get him to just travel there. He did actually meet some people today. He met, met this guy called Morgan. He met a... Uh, um, this girl called Alyssa. He's going to invite Carolyn, though. He's going to invite Carolyn. He's like, hey, Carolyn, do you want to hang out? <laughs> Alrighty, so Axel has arrived at the old town center, which is really nice. And there's actually a yoga class going on, <laughs> which is pretty interesting. But I'm going to go ahead and get him to just talk to her and look stealthily. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so I think it's going to go ahead and maybe just... Oh, why can't you? Why can't he do anything? Hold on. He's angry. Oh my gosh, my guy. No, I'm just going to remove it. I don't think he'd be angry. He is hot-headed. Please don't shout at me. You guys know I remove me. That's a lot. It's just I don't want... I want him to be able to flirt. And, you know, I... I don't know. He's stressed though. He's very tense. I think he's just gonna go ahead and offer a, offer a rose stealthily. <laughs> oh my gosh, Axel with his roses though. There we go. She seems to actually have accepted the rose once again. She definitely does like getting given roses. <laughs> She's actually very flirty now. <gasps> Girl, wait, no. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> this is like always happens in all of my let's plays no i mean i'm not gonna you know stop it or anything but <laughs> oh my god like i swear it ha happens all the time in the rosal legacy in the snowy escape let's play oh my god <laughs> oh my gosh you guys well this does make sense it is the part one of the rose generation so why am i not surprised <laughs> oh my goodness yeah, that's that's what's going on. This is I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's 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 basically like I said, a very a very good start to it. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and maybe get him to maybe kiss hands. He does actually need to have a girlfriend or a boyfriend. So that is definitely what we're going to do for sure. But <laughs> So yeah, he's definitely trying to, you know, be with Carolyn. I think she's definitely trying to be with him too. So probably just gonna compliment her parents or do all that stuff. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm kind of, I think the Rose generation is gonna be a lot easier than the Mint generation was. I know it's autumn. But I'm gonna get them to just have their first kiss. <laughs> I know it wasn't like first kiss, but it's kiss under the mistletoe. But you know, it's like literally really similar. Girl, can you come back, Carolyn? <laughs> get back here maybe blow a kiss all of that stuff he's still tense though like honestly the he's just really worried oh hold on what's the time okay it's 5 p.m he's probably carolyn girl where'd you go oh and i think she's stuck again carolyn always is getting herself stuck <laughs> but i think he's probably gonna have to go pretty soon because you know he has to he has to get back because you know before his parents get back because they do get back at the same time and he does not want to get grounded once again yeah i'm gonna get him to try and reveal crush again maybe it'll work this time i'm not sure if it's gonna work but i will try and she's actually accepting it this time no not again no it's stop 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 no okay i'm glad i'm glad i'm glad they couldn't i mean like honestly okay has to be girlfriend and then he has to go home straight away but i swear these sims are insane 
they are really girl come back <gasps> no i'm just gonna reset object because we need to ask to be girlfriends so we can take the part off the aspiration and then he needs to get home because it's like literally he doesn't have very long before 7 p.m and he wants to get back like before 7 p.m she said yes okay awesome there we go we ticked one part off of the aspiration he has himself a girlfriend they won't be together for very long though <laughs> this is the rose generation but for now he has a girlfriend yes so far so good so that is it that is part one of i guess the rose generation this part was wild i mean i had so much fun like i said it was extremely fun and, and like i said i had a really really fun time today i hope you guys did too i'm so so excited to delve more into axel and more into the rose generation in general <laughs> it's definitely a very fun one so if you guys did enjoy do not forget to leave a like and subscribe we would love to have you join the plum family and i'll see you all in the next video Bye bye a quick thank you to all the channel members. Thank you Ace, Kristen, Plumberry, Crystal Exton, McKenna, Robin, Ivy, Louise, and Melody. I really do appreciate it.